Welcome back to the Right Now Powder Coating channel. Now, powder coating can seem a little intimidating when you're just starting out, but don't worry, I've got you covered. Today, I'm answering the top 10 most asked questions about powder coating for newbies. So grab your notebook, grab a pin, and let's jump in. Question number one, what exactly is powder coating? So powder coating, simply put, is a dry process where the powder is electrostatically applied to the part. And then it's put into an oven or a heat source to cure for a set time at a set temperature. It's more durable and provides a higher quality finish than your typical solvent paints. It's used on anything from car parts to household appliances, to industrial equipment. Think of it as an advanced form of painting. It's tougher and more eco-friendly than a solvent-based paint. Question two, what materials can be powder coated? Powder coating works best on metal surfaces like aluminum, steel, and cast iron. However, with the right preparation, you can even coat heat-resistant plastics and glass. The key is making sure the material can withstand the high temperatures of the curing process. Question number three, how durable is powder coating? Extremely. It's resistant to scratches, chipping, and corrosion when done right. Plus it holds up in extreme weather conditions, which is why it's a popular choice for automotive ports, outdoor furniture, and more. Just remember, proper surface prep is key. Question number four, is powder coating environmentally friendly? Absolutely. Powder coating is eco-friendly. Unlike traditional liquid paints, it doesn't use solvents or release harmful VOCs. Plus, the powder overspray can often be collected and reused if you have the correct system. Question number five, can I powder coat at home? Absolutely. With the right tools, like a powder coating gun, a compressor, and a curing oven, you can start on a very small scale. Powder coating products right in your own garage. Just make sure you have proper ventilation and follow safety precautions. It's a great hobby or even a side hustle that you can start right now. Question six, how do I prepare a surface for powder coat? Surface prep is crucial for a flawless finish. First, you need to make sure the part is clean, remove all dirt, oil, and rust. Sandblasting is an ideal way to get a clean, textured surface for your paint to adhere to. After that, some metals might need a pre-treatment, such as a phosphate, to improve adhesion and corrosion resistance. And remember, when you're doing this, prep is everything. Question seven, how long does powder coating last? When done right, it can last for decades. Of course, that all depends on factors like the environment, what it's exposed to, and how well you have prepped the surface. For example, outdoor items may need a primer coat for more corrosion protection. Question eight, can powder coating be repaired? Yes, to some extent, minor scratches or chips or hook marks can be touched up with liquid paint or a powder coating repair pen. For larger areas, you're probably going to have to at least scuff up the area and reshoot, if not strip and recoat the whole part entirely. Unfortunately, powder cannot be blended in like liquid paint. Question nine, what's the cost to get started? A basic DIY setup can run you anywhere from $500 to $1,500, depending upon the quality of your equipment. For professional use, expect to invest a little bit more. Industrial grade tools and equipment can start off at around $50,000 for an entry level setup. It's an upfront investment, but once you're set up, the cost to powder coat per project is very small. For more in-depth information, consider watching how much money does it take to start powder coating. Question 10, what are common problems in powder coating? One of the main problems we get asked about is orange peel texture. This is caused by uneven powder application, whether it's too much or too little. It can also be caused by uneven metal surfaces, such as a high profile in your blasting, or curing temperatures or ramp up times. If you have bubbling in your paint, that's usually trapped moisture or contamination under the paint level. The fix, dial in your equipment settings, prep your surface properly, and always follow the powder manufacturing's guidelines. That's it for today's FAQ session. If you have more questions about powder coating, please drop them down in the comments and we'll do another video just like this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so that you can see when we post new videos. Until next time, get out there and coat something.